Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Today we are catching up on Animal Crossing New Leaf, getting our town ready for the new expansion. Uh, they've already said that we don't have to pick weeds, uh, so I don't have to worry about picking weeds to get my town ready, but I would like to get my town up to date. I want to correct all of this cobblestone down here. I want to get my hair done right. Um, and I just want to get my town looking beautiful. So I'm all set for that new update. Um, I am a huge Animal Crossing fanatic. I've been playing it for years. In fact, that this game I have put countless hours into. Um, I, I just, I absolutely love Animal Crossing. Uh, so I'm really excited about this update, especially because, oh no, they're not open. Darn me and my time traveling ways. Oh, it's because I have a reverse sleep schedule a lot of the time, so I probably switched it. Because right now it's like four in the afternoon, and it must think it's like four in the morning. Yikes. Uh, so I can't get my hair done right now, but we can do other stuff. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, but yeah, like I just need to get everything up to date and ready to go for the new update. Make my town pretty, get it all ready. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you can see I have Bedhead because I haven't played in a long time in case you guys missed that last episode there. Uh, I have a lot of fruit that needs to be picked. I have a lot of flowers hanging around. And it's raining. I must know it's my favorite weather. I wonder if anything's changed in Town Hall since we've been gone in so long. Besides our baboon friend who thinks he runs this town. I can't believe that. It's so rude. Let's see. How happy are our citizens? Oh. Oh man, we're doing great. Even though we haven't been here in like, I don't know, a year and a half, two years, it's still doing great. That makes me feel good. At least we created a good environment for the people of the town. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't even know if I know anybody who's in the town anymore. I'm real excited to see everybody. Let's see. Doesn't say what time of the day it is. That's fine. Ooh. Let me get that. Alright. Yeah, I got a little bell here. I love it. Yeah, obviously I only have things in my town that I really like. I used to have flowers uh, around each house uh, according to color. Time to get going on that again. Get all of these flowers sorted out. I was like a flower fanatic. I, I would water my flowers. I had like a garden so I could grow the specialty flowers. I did everything. Uh, it was a little bit OCD with how I was with um, watering them every day and checking on them and all that stuff. Uh, I think I learned my lesson one day though because I uh, time traveled and I was trying to go to the next day so I could water my flowers, but I went a whole year ahead, a year in one day, and all of my flowers died. Uh, so after that, I kind of was less extreme with the flower growing and planting and uh, crossbreeding and things. But that's another really fun aspect of this game. I like that you can do that. And a lot of flowers you can only get that way. Oh, I think this is one of my gardens. It's not really organized, though. Oh, look, we got some custom color lilies here. Or orchids. Yeah. So there's a little bit of my flower garden still remains. It's strange it's still alive. Usually they've all dissipated at this point. Uh, let me plant some. If you plant them in like a cross like this, so they have spaces next to them, above them, and below them, uh, that's easier for new flowers to grow. Uh, because whenever they grow new flowers, they will grow in those empty spots. So you have to leave empty spots, otherwise they won't grow. Uh, so for example, I have uh, this yellow flower right next to this like bluish purplish flower. Uh, when they cross pollinate, uh, their new flower will come out right here. Uh, so stuff like that, like. I think the only new one I have here is this dark purple one, which is from this purple and light purple, and they created this like bluish color flower. Uh, so stuff like that can happen. 
And a lot of flowers you can only get by crossbreeding them like this or trading with other people, like friends of yours who have towns. Uh, oh, I should put some of my flowers on the ground over there, huh? Just get rid of them. But I don't know, it's so relaxing and it's just easy to do and I don't know. I like games that are like this, just like, there's a little bit of thought put into it, but like it's mostly relaxing. That's my jam. So I guess, I guess some other time I'll go through, cause it's kind of boring and I'll rearrange my garden so you guys can see what it looks like when it's all up and going. Cause I have a lot of plants here. Usually they all die. Uh, but I'm surprised a lot of them have survived. It's pretty cool. Uh, who lives here? Nibbles. I don't know who they are. Maybe I do, but I forgot. I'm sorry. Who's here? Tipper. Oh, uh, that's a cow. I know Tipper. I tried to get rid of them, I think, in one of my videos, and they're still here. Tom. Isn't that the raccoon guy who owns the shop? Midge. I think that's a bird, right? Is that new? I don't know if I had Midge before. Uh, oh, I have another house over here. So I can show you my other house. These are perfect town bells. I got some mail. Each of my houses is a different theme, too. Uh, okay, so this is all custom colored red and black uh, Japanese style room. I got my no masks, my own masks. I got uh, the two different lucky cats, each with a different paw. I got my samurai helmet, my cherry tree bonsai, my other lucky cats. I got the golden lucky cat and the black lucky cat. Uh, I got the Happy Home Association pendant on the wall because I got an award for this house. Yeah. This room is pretty cool. This is a complete set once again. Like I said, I am very addicted to getting complete sets in this game when it comes to furniture. I don't know. I really, when I get into Animal Crossing, I get into Animal Crossing. Like, I get everything. Here's another room. Got my school certificate on the wall. Uh, which you can just buy in the store. <laughs> it's not a certificate for anything in the game. It's just a decoration piece. Uh, and let's check out the kitchen. I always put the kitchen in the back. Mm, not so much a kitchen, more like a cabin. Yeah, this room, I think, can be upgraded one a little bit more. So you can have more room to walk around. Or maybe this is it. But this is the cabin lodge room. I got... Uh, all of the totem poles back there. I think there's four different variety of totem pole. Yeah, I like that room. It's very relaxing and cozy. I'd make it work. I could walk around there if it was real life, even though it's a little bit of a hoarder, but whatever. What's this room? Oh, this is a cute Victorian style room. Very nice and clean. Ooh, I love that thunder noise. I got some nice flowers displayed in here. This is my guest room. This is where you guys would stay if you came to visit. You like it, right? I hope so. Oh, I stopped walking there and it showed the time and date. All right, let's see what time it is in this world. 7.55 a.m. And it's one day ahead of what we really are. Okay, cool. So let's check out the basement and then we'll go upstairs and see our bedroom. Oh, shit. This is my other favorite bedroom. This is a custom color set. I love this room. Look, I got my pet spider in the corner. That's Otis, by the way. Uh, just custom color everything, this black and purple. I think it's the gothic colorway is what they call it. Love this room. Ugh, that's the bedroom for sure. Oh, what's upstairs? I don't remember. Oh god, what could it be? Not a torture room, is it? Yeah, one time I played with Ross and he showed us his town on Kitty Cat Gaming. You guys can view that old channel a video as well. And uh, he had like a torture dungeon room in the back of his house. Uh, so this is the mod bedroom set. Uh, it's really cute. I have it all in custom colorway as well. I think originally it was that orange and black that's on the walls. Um, got a cute blue hair bow on display to match the room. Got my laptop out. Cool room. I like this uh, astronaut suit because it has uh, Earth reflected in the helmet. I think that's really cool. Nice little touch. Um, and then I have one other house in this town. But yeah, no, like, 
do you guys like do you guys decorate your houses like this? Am I the only person who just goes like full on like one theme per room? Or do you just decorate it the way you like it? Because I feel like you should have fun with it and I, I, it's almost to the point where it's not fun. You know what I mean? Like I just go so much into it. I don't know why there's a table in the middle of this way. Oh, it's a bench. Okay. It's weird. It looks like a table. <laughs> These are all different trees. There's a beach. So nice. Oh, you know what? I know where my other house is. It's over here. I'm sorry, it's been like a year since I've played this, so I've kind of forgotten a little bit. Duh, I have the map right there on the screen. Alright, well next time on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, I'm going to show you guys this beautiful mermaid castle house. Uh, be sure to that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it, and I'll see you guys all then! Bye everybody!